The offense once again jumped on Twins pitching early. What did you think of the play discipline in that first inning in particular to send nine to the plate? Yeah, I mean, that was the difference in that inning. You know, you know, we didn't really hit the ball all that hard in that inning other than Luke's. Um, but DJ with a great at-bat to start it. Judgy, you know, Stanton gets on there. Uh, Guardy slaps one the other way. Velasquez with a big walk there. So, you know, that got us off on a great, great note. And, and Nestor took it from there and gave us, you know, seven really strong innings. When you put up six runs in the first two innings, just how much momentum does that give the team as a whole throughout the game? Um, I mean, it's, I mean, it's what you want to do. Obviously, you want to build a lead if you can and, and hopefully allows the pitcher to, you know, go out there and be, be even more aggressive, more on the attack and, um, you know, fortunately, we're able to keep adding on just enough too to, to uh, you know, keep them keep them out of reach for the most part. But but a really good job by Nestor at getting us deep into it. What stood out to you about the way he threw tonight? The the longest that you've used him, or I should say, the hardest you've pushed him so far this season? Yeah, I thought he started out really strong. I thought his stuff was really crisp. Um, you know, I, a couple innings there, I thought it, you know lost a little bit of command but was able to make big pitches they had the one inning where they loaded the bases you know where i thought he got a little out of whack a little bit but but made a big pitch to get out of that inning um and then it, it seemed like he was tiring a little bit late and you know was gonna go batter to batter with him there in the seventh inning and he went out and finished really strong and had a real strong seventh inning which which was huge you know to to give a seven tonight and you know give some guys down there some more rest that was big Boyd clearly a productive night offensively. He had mentioned that he had made some changes, maybe worked on some things prior to the game. Did he look different in the batter's box tonight? Um, I, I thought he had really good at bats. You know, while we've, you know, while he's been the last week or whatever where he's gotten some big hits for us obviously and have productive at bats tonight i thought his bats were really consistent i thought his swing decisions were really good um, i thought the home run ball that he hit was a really good at bat where he fell behind in the count bear Claw threw him some good breaking balls but he worked himself back into the count and put a good swing on one the other way for the homer um so it was just good to see him in strong hitting positions for the most part all night Mark Feinstein, go ahead. Aaron, what you saw of Cortez a couple of years ago, which you saw him in the first part of this season, did you think he had this in him to be an effective starter like he's been? Oh, man. I mean, he's been great. You know, so, you know, I, I, I don't know if I necessarily envisioned him being a cornerstone right now in our rotation the way he's pitching. But, you know, we, we kind of fell in love with him in 19 just with – just with who he is and the way he competes and um you know the the kind of different look he gives you than than most of the people you see but i think what the difference between 19 and now is you know he's a better pitcher man he's he's just a better delivery better command crisper stuff you know um and he's been good for us all year i mean when when he got called up you know whether it was giving us length, whether it was finding himself occasionally in some high leverage spots and then having to go into the rotation out of need. He's been great every step of the way and, um, you know, hard to imagine where we'd be without him. Not to say that you're not hoping for the return of some of the other guys who are on the IL, but given the uncertainty with Kluber and Herman Severino, mm -hmm. how much has it helped having him step up and give you yeah, what he's given you I mean, sort of stabilize one of those spots? It's been... It's been every. It's been huge. I mean, really. Um, and, and I know moving forward, you know, whatever, whether it's continuing to start, whether it's different roles, you know, he's been there, done it all, comfortable in all of it, um, and ultimately just likes to pitch and compete. Um, so it's just a luxury. You, you feel really good having him part of the staff in any which way because you know you can give him the ball in any spot and he's you know he's going to go out there and, and give you a good a good effort thank you yeah greg joyce please unmute aaron how is brett gardner doing uh pretty it's stiffened up on him just that one that sticks you right there kind of right above the elbow um so it's stiffened up on him pretty good so yeah, we'll see. We'll see how he's doing uh, overnight in the morning. Will he get any type of testing done 
on a dirt. No, it's one of those that's just, it's going to get swollen stiff. And, you know, I think you play this game long enough, everyone's gotten that one. But <clears throat> makes it tough to swing. And I, I think it really stiffened up on them there, you know, over that inning. So just wanted to get them out of there, get get some treatment, get some ice going. And, you know, hopefully it's, you know, something that he's back quickly. Randy Miller, you have the next question. Aaron, do you think it's coincidence that Luke gets hot after being frustrated, anger? Or I know he's healthy, but do you think there's something to be said for an emotional guy like him that uh, maybe is extra motivated to show people? He's a good player. <laughs> I mean, and a good hitter. So, you know, and it's it's been, you know, he's... He's lost a lot of at bats dealing with different injuries this year, so I know that part's been frustrating for him. But you know, when he's in the lineup, he's a really good hitter in this league. So you know, whether it's, I'm sure everyone's going to draw every conclusion like everyone always does that it's because of this, it's not because of that. It, he's a good hit, good hitter. He's a good player, and uh, you know, he's gotten some big hits for us here over the last week. Um, and and a big night tonight.